this year she would have won. Right, and that's her average. So she is capable of a lot higher than that score if that is her average. And she has just been under so much pressure in this position, on this event, in these NCAA Nationals. Let's see how she responds today, less than 24 hours later. So yesterday, her individual national championship on the line. Today, the team championship on the line. She pulls it right back on. There's her experience kicking in. Beautiful. And this is this pesky little full turn that gave her so much problem yesterday. Sails right through it. Beautiful. She's catching her rhythm again. Maybe a little bit of nerves as soon as she mounted the beam. You can see her sort of falling into place. This is the beam worker that she is. Wow. And that skill right there, it's called an anodi. It's essentially a back handspring, half twist, front handspring. It is extremely difficult on the balance beam because it is so easy to go crooked. And she does it fabulous. Big finish. That's it. That's it. Huge. She basically saved the championship for them. Wow. If they would have fallen, they would have been out, and she did it. And she was close. And that's her experience. That's why she's number two in the nation, because she's able to just pull it in, rein it in, and get the job done. Tied with UCLA after three rotations, Alabama's Gerilyn Stack Eaton. Oh, that skill. I could watch it a million times. And look at the landing. It's flawless. Beautiful. That must feel so good for her, knowing that she lost it yesterday, but won it today. Alabama hangs in and hangs on to a chance at its first national she title. She smiled before she landed, I think.